This is Chipmunk. Uh, it was sold to me on Steam as Golden Axe with chipmunks, uh, which is great. Uh, that sounds like, I mean, when I was a kid, I absolutely loved Golden Axe. It was the, if, if there wasn't Bionic Commando, Bionic Commando was probably my number one game I always had to go and play. But if there was no Bionic Commando at the arcade, then Golden Axe was my second choice. And at any time, uh, you know, that any time that game was, was available, I had to go and play it. I would spend all of my quarters on it and, and like an arcade game, Chipmunk has an attract mode which is just amazing. Uh, I haven't seen one of these in a long time. I think that we used to, like back when I was making console games in the like PS2 GameCube generation, we would still sometimes uh, uh, put a track modes in games just by tradition. People were really used to the idea that when you have, you know, when you're sitting on the main menu for too long, you want something else to come up to sort of show you what the game is. And, uh, you know, in arcade games, the idea was this game is playing in a loud, noisy place where, you know, if it wants to make money, it's got to attract players who haven't decided to play it yet. And so they would actually try to show the action of the game to get you to come over and put your quarters in. It's funny to see an attract mode in a, um, you know, in a game that is clearly not an arcade game. <laughs> um, it's, you know, it's not in that context, but it's just got this nostalgic uh, feel to it, you know, when it's behaving like the games I remember from my youth, uh, from, you know, just shoving quarters into machines at the food court at uh, the Four Seasons Mall in Greensboro, North Carolina. So anyway, so this is Chipmunk. I'm going to find out how to play it. I have not touched it before in my life, so I don't know what to expect. Okay, so it looks like... You can play this two-player. Uh, I don't have a second player, so I'm not going to do that. All right, so I'm going to be gray, I guess. Uh, yeah. Do I have... Okay, so I can use the D-pad to change my character. So I can be gray. I can be cheeks. I can be red. It's like gray... Okay, cheeks has the most health. And the most power. Red has the least of those but moves the fastest and has the most special. I don't know what special is. So it seems like gray is sort of the halfway between characters. So I'm gonna go with gray. Gotta get my cursor off the screen. All right, I am gray. I will, I will hit flowers. No, I will not, I will not hit flowers. Ooh, I will kick rocks, however. Oh, I can pick up logs and throw them. Yes. Okay, so obviously the jump attack is always the best in games like this. Except it's not. This guy can dodge it. Alright. What else we got? Oh, yikes! Where did that guy come from? What is he, some kind of badger? Take that, mouse. Take that, badger. Chipmunk's rule. Oh, it's got, it's got little shrooms. Are those good? I can't tell if those are good. So I can just kick this rock? That's all, that's all the rock is good for? Oh, did I just pick that guy up? Yes. Is that just part of the combo? Is it only part of the combo with badgers? No, it looks like I do it with the mouse, too. Yes, die, rodents. Oh, whoa. We got weapons. Are they going to drop these weapons? That wouldn't be a golden axe thing. That would be more of a double dragon thing if they dropped the weapons. But it looks like they don't drop them, at least when I knock them silly. Okay, no, the weapons are part of their bodies. So the thing I'm curious about is whether I'm going to have mounts. That, ah! That's what would make this golden axe, if I get to have a mount. And now I'm really curious, what would a chipmunk ride exactly? A small cat? Oddly, I am the same size as a badger and a mouse. I feel like I should... Oh, gosh. Is there something I can do about that? I guess if I just dodge by going vertical. Oh, okay. What are you, anyway? Are you a rat?
Oh, yikes. Okay. Okay, so I'm just... When I hit the B button, I do this little weird ducking move. I can't figure out what that's supposed to be. Is it a dodge? I was getting hit all the time while I was doing it, so I, I don't know what this is. Oh, I just hit the Y button. What? 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 Okay, that's what the Y button does. Okay, so I collect these shrooms. So I have to kill flies. Oh, and they go away. Okay, so I gotta get the flies killed to charge up my mushrooms and my health. And so the mushrooms power my special abilities. Take this, and also this. Throw, I will throw you. So it seems like the throwing, it happens as part of the combo. It's hard to actually like arrange it on purpose, be useful. Oh, it's throwing because I'm on top of them sometimes. Oh gosh, porcupines. Ha, ah, gotta be dodgy. Okay. Ah, oh, it has thrown me. What happens if I hit Y here? Take this. I will drop fish on you. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Okay, getting thrown by them, not cool. Oh, that is so, oh, did he just hit his friend? Okay, so do I just have to hit first, basically? I think I just have to make sure I'm hitting a little further away than I felt would work. Like, it feels like my hitbox, like, like, like sort of my hit radius, should be fairly small, so I keep trying to approach them really closely before swinging. But that was not the right move. I, if I started hitting earlier than felt comfortable, that's what it took to hit them before they hit me. All right, here we go. Stage two. Shroom! Whoa, what the? Okay, apparently that cost me, like, all my health. I think I can't take a single hit now. Let's just hope these guys... Don't ever hit me, okay. I would like to have some health now, please. Oh, gosh! Okay, I am dead, but I've got lives, because that's how these games work. Oh, gosh, okay. Oh, I forgot, I forgot, hey, get off me! Man, once that combo starts, it's hard to get out of it. Now, I don't feel like I have any options once they start hitting me like that. Okay, I'm trying to pick up that log with the B button, which worked before. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Ow, stop poking me, you little pokey mouse. Okay, so let's throw the log at you properly this time. Oh, he's avoiding me. Look at this guy. He thinks he's smart. Oh, he is smart. But he's still destructible. All right. Oh. Okay, good. Missed the rush that time. Oh, get, get, get off me. Oh, wow. This is suddenly way harder. I would like some flies. Could I have some flies, please? Please, flies. I need some shrooms. Yes, that throwing maneuver is basically only valuable if you are fighting someone who's already next to somebody else. And that mushroom... Can I just hit it once and run away? Yes, though the chances of that actually hitting an enemy seem pretty slim. Ah! Nope. Don't do that. Don't do that. Ah! Don't get off me! Take that. Oh! Gosh, okay. I've got no lives left. 
man, those flies were so plentiful before. So you gotta carefully choose your targets, basically. Like, what if you... Oh, what happened there? I thought that I was throwing somebody, but I was getting thrown. Yeah, if you leave yourself exposed to somebody for a second, that's your problem. Like, you gotta just sort of... You know, I don't really have any... Any, like, dodge maneuvers or anything like that. I just got, uh... Th this one thing that was nice when it sort of emerged from modern brawlers. The idea that there should be sort of this give and take where you're using a dodge move when you see attacks incoming and using an attack move when you see enemies vulnerable. Early brawlers didn't really have that dynamic, and I've gotten really used to that dynamic. I mean, we have it in State of Decay 2. It's a huge part of, like, the early God of War games. And, you know, uh, Hades now, actually. That's probably one of the most popular games that uses that dynamic right now. Ooh, cherries. I'm gonna save those until I need them, which I assume is a thing I can do. I don't know. Ow. Yeah, so this game mostly just has different kinds of aggression at my disposal. I don't really have defense. As far as I can tell, unless I'm just missing something. Maybe that's what the B button is for. Like the little headbutt move? Nope. Doing that maneuver does not seem to save me. Oh gosh, was that it? Am I dead? Continue? Ooh. Yes, continue. Oh, can I just do this indefinitely? I was about to say, like, my assumption was that I was just going to be doing this until I ran out of uh, lives and then I was going to have to quit because I didn't want to, you know, nobody wants to watch a video or a stream of me just playing the same couple levels again and again and again. Okay, ah, okay. When I see that coming, I need to move vertically. Alright, so let's let him... I want to see if I can actually dodge that move, but he's not he's not doing the move, so I can't dodge it. Ah, ah, okay. Once I'm starting to get hit, I I feel like there might not be much I'm allowed to... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, I mean, I guess I can kill him with a fish, sure. I meant to save that for... Wait, what did I just get? I assumed the cherries were going to be healing stuff, but... I guess not. They did something else. Did they make me invulnerable or something? Huh. So it's interesting they've adopted the um, lives and continue, uh, lives and continues sort of system without actually having it mean anything. <laughs> like, as far as I can tell, you can just continue indefinitely. So it's really just sort of a... It's just a cute thing that they're doing for nostalgia. It's not actually the lives and continue feature from, you know, classic games. Ow, get off me. Ha, ah, I will kill you with your friend. It makes me feel very uncomfortable to getting this close to the edge of the screen. Something can just come out of nowhere. Okay, so, oh, so far it's not that different to be fighting one guy over another. Like, I don't really, for everyone, the strategy seems to be hit the attack button as soon as you can on approach to get them before they get you. Some of them rush you, and I, I have not yet gotten any good at dodging the rushes. Like, they come on so fast. I assume that I can move vertically to avoid them, but I, I feel like I don't get enough warning to adequately defend against them. Right, so, hitting a guy with my throw attack, which I think comes from me being very close to him when I hit an attack. Oh, what's that guy? What's he doing? Okay. So are they going to rush me? Oh, he did rush me. Dang it. I was trying to watch for the rush and do something about it. Okay, let's just use the shrooms. And slap everybody with a fish. I don't know why I'm slapping them with fish. 
Oh, 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 there's another rush again. I wish there was like a, even an audio cue or a something. Something to tell me it's time for me to prepare and try to dodge that move. I genuinely don't know what that B button move is. Like, is it a duck? If it's a, if it's a duck, if it's a dodge, that kind of makes sense, but I, so far when I try it during an enemy attack, it's not doing much. Is it move? It does move me faster for just a moment. Maybe I can use it to dodge rushes? It looks like I'm headbutting somebody. That's what the animation tells me it is. Okay, so I can actually turn while I'm... Oh, get out of here. See, if I could use... If there was something I'd do to escape those... Those combos, that'd be great. Like, if there was some button I could push once a combo started... Oh, God, that would allow me to escape it? Then that would feel like... Like there was a defense move I could do, you know, like I could I could reduce the damage that's incoming by responding well to enemy attacks. But as things stand, it doesn't feel like I really get the ability to do that. Like once an enemy hits me with an attack, not only did they hit me with that attack, but they basically owned me for a little while. And that's kind of frustrating. It's like when you when you know that you know you're hit at once, but you're going to be hit two more times, and there's literally nothing you can do about it. That can be pretty frustrating. I think that's why a lot of games do have defensive moves you can do, or some way to escape from an enemy grapple or something like that. Because just taking a long time, taking damage, and not being able to do anything about it isn't a good emotional experience. <laughs> And that's what games are all about, really, is trying to create a certain emotional experience for a player. Ow! Oh, I just dodged directly into his axe. Ah! Take this! Oh, gosh, okay. That would have been a perfect opportunity for me to try a dodge. Now, oh, more you. Okay, so the main thing I want to do is get all the out, ah, get off me, get all the enemies on one side of me. Oh, those. Okay, so the main thing about those mice is they are very quick to move around. They will get behind me and validate all of my good choices about facing and positioning. It is nice when you sort of can really pick up on a different sort of personality or tactic from each enemy. Shroom? Is this, this the health guy? Yes. Shroom guy. That's it, I just get two shrooms. Take that. Take it. Take that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Oh, oh, he got me right before I threw his friend at him. Oh, there goes another combo. Can I throw you both? Yes. Okay. Ah! Take that. I love that they've all got this death sound. <laughs> I can just learn to recognize. Ah! So simulated chatbot says the uh, the B move looks like a charge. It does. It looks like a headbutt, doesn't it? I think it might be a dodge. It looks like a headbutt, and these guys look like all kinds of butts. <laughs> okay. I think we're gonna say game over now. But th this was fascinating. It was, it's an interesting little um, sort of foray into a nostalgic world of arcade brawlers. Oh. I should definitely what should I put in here let me do orangutan do RNG which is random number generator as well as meaning orangutan maybe it stands for random number Jeffrey I don't know and then here we are back at the beginning so uh, now that I have control over my cursor uh, we'll switch to the end screen. 
and we'll move on to something else. So yeah, that was Chipmunk. Nice little nostalgia hit. Reminds me of when I used to play arcades as a kid. Ah, arcades.